Hey, hey, what's up everybody? My name is B-Boy Mouse. I am here again, but this time I am not gonna be dancing. I wanna actually show you guys a dish that I is my favorite in uh, from the Philippines. It's called apretada. So I'm gonna cook that today and I wanna document it and show you the ingredients and so you guys can try it and cook it, it at your own home and have the tastiest food that you can have. It's called apritada. It's very, 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 very simple and very affordable um, ingredients that you can have for it, you know? So, yes. Yeah. So, the ingredients is potato, carrots, yellow red uh, pepper, red onions, very own lazy garlic, <laughs> and bay leaves, right? Obviously, you're gonna have to have your chicken or whatever meat that you would like to put on it. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the last but not least um, ingredients for it is the tomato paste. This is the most important paste I mean, ingredients that you can have in here because this is the one that you're gonna put mostly for the sauce. You know what I'm saying? But you obviously, you're gonna have to put your salt and pepper in it as well to enhance the flavor. All right, so you ready? Let's go. So, obviously you will need a good knife for this. And the first thing we have to do is chop all the ingredients for us to be able to cook it. And like just like this with a potato <laughs> yo i waved my knife so hard i chopped the whole ingredients off so here we go let's go so all our ingredients is chopped and ready to go now i'm gonna use a wok today because i'm hungry and i would like to cook my food quickly so i'm gonna use this right now so here we go Add water. Pour it on me. Sauce. Wow. So now it's boiling. It's time to add our tomato paste into it. The secret ingredients of the appetizer. Nobody would like to tell you guys. I'm revealing it just for you all because I love you and I would like to share the beautiful dish that we have back home to you guys. I usually put um, one tub of this, one tube of this into the dish. Okay. Just because I would like to make it a little sour and sweet with the taste of the tomato and the ingredients that we put. Now, as 
you can see it's boiling uh, that will have to wait now for us to cook this and the last ingredients that we're gonna have to cook in here I mean the last two ingredients that we have to put in there now the, the last one is this the red and yellow pepper plus the bay leaves the bay leaves give that aroma, smell and taste of it it, it adds into this part as well so good and then you have this bay leaves in there so let's spread this here actually having a little stressful day and stuff, you know, a couple of these bay leaves, you light it up and put it in a bowl, the, the essence of this will uh, lower your stress level. While we're waiting for the dish apretada to be cooked, we have to eat that with rice. So we have to cook rice right now. I don't know how you guys cook your rice in your country, but I know most of the people right now have a, so what you call, um, rice cooker. This is not a rice cooker, obviously. This is a steam cooker, but I'm not gonna use that for my rice. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna cook rice manually the way we do it back home in the Philippines. Alright, so you know, you wanna cook yours uh, on the um, rice cooker. Feel free. You know what I mean? But I just like to show you guys how to cook a rice properly and how to measure the water without using any measurement. Just your fingers. You know, very authentic in the Philippines these days. Alright, so we put rice in the room. I don't know how much we have here. But we have, how much do we have here? 1 kg of rice. And I just put, I think, almost a third of them. Okay. There, so what I'm gonna do now, wash them first. Wash them to get all this wheat of the rice. Check out the appetite. Boiling hot. See it like that? You see it like that? It's time to lower down your fire. Cook it really nice. So look at the mucky water that I just throw away from I washed away from my rice. I usually wash my rice twice just to make sure that most of the meat is covering the rice is off away. So the rice will be nice and soft when it's cooked okay to measure the rice what we do back home in Philippines right we use our fingers so your finger will go at the bottom of the pan first right you go like this at the bottom measure it with your thumb so the rice is over there just here above my um, above that line of my finger like this, I'll put my finger there again, and then now this time I'm gonna put it on top of the rice. See how much water it is. See? Can you see that? It's pretty perfect. Right? So now that's that. Get a 
amount of water with the rice. It's time to cook.